All right. And how long have you operated here in Mount Vernon? And oh. Mount Vernon is your home base, correct? We've actually we've been doing these type of activities for the kids and uh, taking them out um, since 91. Uh, we actually started calling ourselves the Future Society in 2005. And then in 2008, we actually incorporated as a nonprofit organization, fully a 501c3. Um, and the thing is, um, as we started, I just really started out just taking my nephews out. You know, taking them out. We started out with a little four foot ball that we rolled down to Brook down one hill. And the ladies, you know, the ladies that one of the mothers that were there with the kids saying, you know, what organization are you with? And we wasn't an organization at the time. We were just out there trying to show them there's different things that they could do. And it was like a magnet. All these kids come out of nowhere. And then we just kept doing it over the years, carpooling and just like snowballed and, into and just snowballed into yeah. To, to yeah. everything. But I got my real foundation from, like I said, from the Warburg growing up in an orphanage. And, you know, by doing all these kind of things, it helped us, you know, helped me um, want to help someone else because someone that was there for me. What are some of the programs? I know you mentioned quite a few uh, already. What are some of the programs you provide and what are you looking to do in the future? Well, our ultimate um, goal is to actually have a community center one day. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I rarely want to talk to too much ideas as to what the community center has. I want it to have everything in it. But, you know, there are people who always want to steal your kind of ideas. Oh, yeah, you don't have to tell them. It's fine. <laughs> so, but I like I'm going to steal it, even though I I'm have, not recording it. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I also, exactly right. <clears throat> I always say that, you know, I, I have in mind exactly what I want mm -hmm. as far as, you know, um, when I do have that center, you know. And, uh, parents should be able to come there, know where their kids are, what they're involved in, mm -hmm. and have a positive environment. But um, our, our, with our programs and everything, our, our ultimate goal is to show the kids that there are positive people that care and also that there are alternatives to just being on the block. So when we do, we do have our programs, the, the children come to us, and a lot of times you see someone that's to the side, they don't really want to, they want to play, but they really don't want to get into it. So a lot of our volunteers, you see that, they take them one-on-one, -on -one and they talk to them and everything before you know, they got them going in there, challenge themselves. We're fortunate that the kids don't tease at one another with our, with our groups. Which that's is, fantastic. Which is not something we even had to say. It just seemed like they just know, they just feel like it's all positive. We, we talk to them through the actions that we do. Mm -hmm. um, like as far as dressing them with their pants sagging down, we time them. You can't run too fast if your pants are hanging down. Mm -hmm. So we talk to them like that. <laughs> they say, okay, next time they come, they got a belt. And so it's, it's, it's just natural. And sometimes they're just harder on themselves. Like mm -hmm. if they feel like they didn't go through, we have obstacle course games, that those are the games mm -hmm. we tend to do in the parks in order to raise funds. Mm -hmm. And when we do those, it's usually the kid who's too hard on himself. So if he do, feels like he doesn't do something fast enough and he'll feel like, oh, he doesn't want to play anymore. And it'll be, whether it's our volunteers or other kids, encouraging them, like, no, it's all right, it's okay, you can do it again, mm -hmm. this is just practice, you can keep on going. And they always come back, come back again and again and again. The <laughs> <laughs> main thing is, is for them to learn to challenge themselves, right. and not to worry about it, to do better to improve themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we actually um, agree with, uh, with uh, First Lady Michelle Obama when she says the thing about having them, about the uh, Let's Move program that she has. Mm -hmm. And she wants all these organizations to get them more active and like that. They're exercising without realizing they're exercising by going through our office of courses and then we can change it up. And they, they'll do it over and over and over and over. They love it. Mm -hmm. and, and anybody and, can do it. And everybody can do it. All size, ages, everybody, everybody does it. Um, next year we're working on something for the adults, a fundraiser for adults. Um, what we're going to do with the six footballs that we have, that we're going to do a big obstacle course. And they're going to be um, raising funds, and every, all the funds that go back to us at Mount Vernon Youth. Mm, that's great. That's what we're working on. Talking about funds, how are you guys funded mainly? Well, and uh, do you accept donations? Do you have a spot somewhere? That we, we actually were good. I'll let her touch that in a little yes, while. Let, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we accept donations, please. <laughs> I'll let her touch into that in a little while. But, um, when this started, when I started out with this mainly, it was, it was mainly out of my pocket. Mm -hmm. um, I always tell people I'm fortunate to be able to have a job and a decent paying job. Um, you know, I'm able to be able to give back in that, res in that respect. Um, we do get funding from people that, that, that hire us to be part of the event for the kids. Um, we also get funding from some of the parents that want to give us some of them. We have open meetings where we have our meetings and people can come and find out um, what we're about and give input to create um, games, new games and things like that. So we try to make it so that the more they're involved and the more they get to see where their donations go, the more they want to do. Mm -hmm. And especially with governments cutting back now on these fundings for these organizations, 
we're not solely dependent on the U.S. We love, we love grant money. <laughs> We've worked with the, uh, with the youth girl in Mount Vernon here, mm -hmm. um, working with the grant money after the after school program at the adult center with the kids. After they did the homework, they did activities with us afterwards. And also at the Graham Elementary School, we did after school programs right there. And it's, it's so important for them to actually have these kind of activities because otherwise you're sitting at home or you, you're, you're texting and mm -hmm. whatever, you, you don't really get to act anymore. And it also helps you be creative. The way we do some of our games, they have to think about things and balance and stuff like that. So it's teaching them without them realizing they're being taught. Yeah, they be, they're being strategic. And exactly. Right. You know, yeah. Right. 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 So, you know, I'm of the generation where we actually got up and did things. And then yep. as I got older, all these things got introduced. And <laughs> 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 so maybe I'll join you guys out there too. <clears throat> so, you know, being a community group that we are, what can we do? What can folks in the community do to help your organization? Well, we need to be put to volunteer with us, many mm -hmm. parents and uh, young people to volunteer, get involved. It's, it's still, it's, it's, the real deal is, with, is this, you need to get a job somewhere. People need to know who you are. People need to know what you're about. And by joining these organizations, they get to find out what you're about, what your personality is like. Uh, we teach them about being on time and things. We teach them about, you know, um, your word, how important your word is when you say you're going to be somewhere, do something, you're building your reputation, because that's everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. So all through all the things that we do, we teach them in that respect, not a lecture, but by our examples, and then, you know, tell them if they're late, we, we let them know that they're late, and this is not going to be tolerable, because the fact is, in real life, when you go to for a job interview, when you go to, you know, um, when you run into business, you have to be able to respect people's, other people's schedules also. Mm -hmm. So we teach them through all the things that we do. Now, as, to, as far as talking back on to where we said this, how we're funding, mm -hmm. you know, and they can reach us. We are hooked up with um, PayPal, and you can actually go to, you know, to, to, to the sites, which she'll tell you, you send, about. You can you send, send donations to our P.O. Box, which is on the brochure, mm -hmm. our P.O. Box. And we'll have a link on the website. 417 mm -hmm. in Mount Vernon, New York. Um, we have Facebook, and in regards to donations, you can give anything anybody can give us is fine. We have... Um, what we like to call adventure trips, which we call our whitewater rafting, our horseback riding trips. The Mount Vernon Fire Department, um, their union guys got together and put together funds to um, sponsor a fishing boat. And they paid for the boat and like heroes and hoagies and stuff like that for the boat and that was all paid for. And we it told them you can invite the kids to come, you know, for a group of kids, well, it was at least 20 kids to come on. So you can sponsor, you know, whatever it will cost for a child to go horseback riding, white water rafting, $65, and, and specify your funds to go towards those specific activities that we hold. Or any, you know, other ideas that, you know, people have about um, trips or activities that they have because that's our goal when we raise our funds is so that we're able to cover the cost for the kids and, come and, and, and include more children in it because however much um, funding we get depends on how many kids we're able to bring into it. Mm -hmm. And we also, as well as monetary donations, any supplies you can offer, we, mm -hmm. we want to get backpacks if you have any services that you can offer, printing services, you know, um, promotional items, think outside the box in mm -hmm. regards to your, you know, donations, or any um, organizations or people in need that you know of in the community, where we might be able to partner up and team up. team up. We team up a lot with the city and the youth borough, but even when we teamed up with um, Parents Against Teen Violence, they hold seminars. And we got in touch with a lot of other nonprofit organizations that were about the same thing. And we'd like to be able to team up with them because they might have youth who are troubled youth in their shelter and what they might be able to do, but they might be able to go white water rafting with us. And if we can team up, or we have this community we can service in Mount Vernon, and along with us, and we can team them up together and bring them out and do the same type of activities with them. So, any way in which um, we can try and help um, get service out to the youth, whether you can volunteer your time, bring your, your, you know your kids down. Like we said, we have meetings once a month. Contact us on our Facebook page and reach out to us, and just stop by for a meeting. Yeah and help out that way. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, so what are some of the biggest challenges you guys face with this organization? I, I feel like the, our challenge is, um, like I said, we really like to one day have a community center. Mm -hmm. And our, the whole challenge is not to be able to mentor enough. Because if, we do, if, we, if they're just coming joining us for events that we have, mm -hmm. then it's difficult to really stay in their lives and, mm -hmm. and kind of mold them. Um, they, 
we have a lot of kids that come back to repeat after different events. They, they, they see that we're going to be at an event, and they come to it and all that stuff, and they remember us, and it's great. And they, you know, and they, they come back and they start running the games, and it's, it's which is really really good. See, so it shows they've been paying attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> so they, it starts off with number one to blow the whistle. We have a whistle that we that we beep, and everybody loves the whistle, so they start with the whistle. But we wait for them to ask. And once they do, and they have we put them in charge. But our challenge is, like I said, to be able to be able to have a location where we can actually be more consistent with the mentoring part of it. They love our trips. They love doing being around us. And like I said, we, there's a lot of things that we don't tolerate as far as you know cursing or fighting or anything like that. And most of the time, we have them do like you know they'll we tell them we tell them they have to stay out of the game if they're not gonna if they're not gonna behave, and then they jump right back in. But we very rarely have anybody that's gonna be like that. But you get somebody like that once they see that everybody's gonna be treated the same. It, you join back in. Yeah. They join right back in. And our organization is about second chances and, 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 and telling them that it's okay to, you know, um, to be afraid to try and, you know, do certain things in front of some people sometimes. Some people are just shy and they're just like, I'm not going to do that because they, you know, what they think they're too cool for it. Then we challenge them. We say, okay, you think you're too cool? Let's see how fast you do it mm -hmm. before you know what they're doing. And that's all it is. It's just about trying to reach them in, uh, in different ways without putting them down. That's great. That's it's fantastic. Is. Phenomenal. Uh, I know you, you talked about volunteers. How many volunteers do you have? And, uh, and I, I obviously know that you're trying to receive more volunteers. And how does one join? Well, usually when we're going to have an event, mm -hmm. we like to post that we're going to have an event and we ask for volunteers to come. We have some regular ones that we have all the time because they, they already know how to set up the games and, mm -hmm. and take things down and all that stuff. But we get some ones that want to come to hear about us and the events we're going to be. Because what we have is, if you do three events, and even with the adults, because we try to encourage the parents to be part of this also, then we also sponsor a trip for them. But they have to do these three events, and then they can get a sponsored trip. Um, even if they can't make that trip, and they can, if they want to give it to someone else, we also honor that. But we, we try to take a, um, we get volunteers from all over the place that want to be part of it. Um, it's harder today, these days, because a lot of volunteers don't realize what volunteering is when you got to be there early to set up. Mm -hmm. Early to them, it's like 12. <laughs> okay. So, you know, when we don't, just don't do events, you have to be there way before. Mm -hmm. And I always tell everybody, because it's better for us to wait for them than them wait for us. Mm -hmm. And that's how we try to teach them. And it's good, because we try to teach them how to be responsible that way, to be reliable. Mm -hmm. And we are a 501c3 organization, so any want to try and get the word out more often that um, even kids who are in high school who are trying to get college mm -hmm. credits, exactly. they can use the joining our activities and doing and activities without any little counts towards credits towards them to encourage them to come. To come. Um, we have about a catalog of 10 people now, uh, adults and youth, that we pull from to volunteer from, so depending on their schedule and since a lot during the spring and even into the summer, especially, you know, Memorial Day, July 4th, those are big weekends for us. So sometimes, you know, people have their own lives and they go away, so that would be one of our challenges with our volunteers, to keep them consistent to coming, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's going to be as consistent to us, so we have a good catalog to pull from, and using the college students, especially during the summertime, or the high school students during the right. summertime, really come in hand okay. um, to pull from and to get volunteers. Excellent. Excellent. Again, I want to thank you for your time, mm -hmm. and uh, I think what you're doing is absolutely phenomenal and necessary in this city. I think uh, having folks like you will really turn about the youth in this city, and we're going to just move forward, and we're going to try to get you from our end some volunteers, and hopefully this video, if we're going to publish it on our site and on YouTube, mm -hmm. and hopefully we can, you know, great things can come of it, because I think the more people know about something, the more likely people will help something, especially something so positive as this. And one more plug. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we are working on our first gala that mm -hmm. we're going to be having um, June 28th. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be at the Davenport, mm -hmm. and we're going to invite everybody on Facebook that wants to come to it. It's going to mm -hmm. be our first Future Society Globe Award dinner. Okay. So we have some nice awards to give to the people that have supporting us over the years. This is actually five years already as a nonprofit or since we Fantastic. incorporated. So we're going to be having that, and we have, a long, we have about 12 honorees that we're going to have. Okay. So we're going to let everybody know about that. We'll be advertising that also. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Thank See? you very much.